and she was very worried that they'd lose out the end of their education <coughs> because running an education alongside a big caring workload is a very difficult yeah. thing. Yeah. So let's hope we get time to discuss that. Very, very good. Indeed, and, and, and for those people who have to take a, a break from work and therefore their ability to repay because they become carers, like women raising a family, again we need more time to, to look at the impact of these changes uh, on, on there. Point of order, Mr Albert Owen. If the Speaker could help me, has he had any indication from the Leader of the House whether he intends to wind up the debate on behalf of the Government? He's been sitting there motionless throughout the evening and he hasn't given us the opportunity to say why he's put the 5.30 deadline and why he's changed and didn't answer to the Honourable Member for North Durham why he's gone from two hours to, to five, three hours to, to five. I have received no such indication. Um, I didn't invite it, it hasn't been proffered. Uh, that's the situation. I think it's fair to say the Honourable Gentleman's point is not a point of order, um, but a point of inquiry, which is not quite the same thing. Mr Paul Farrelly. Just, just to conclude the point with my Honourable Friend's intervention, we do need that, that, that vital time to assess the implications for all those people in those situations. Uh, the, the Honourable Gentleman appeared 